fashion sense and have different decorations, different clothes, different books, whatever. Um, and by different, I don't necessarily mean like everything's new, like it's going to take time to accumulate things, of course, but um, just to get rid of old energetic ties to objects by getting them out of my space. Um, I feel like objects...
same things all the time. Nothing's changing. What the fuck? Like, you get mad at yourself. Frustration can happen too. Before the precipice of change, frustration, anger, disgust. That may sound dramatic, but like, just disgusted with yourself. Disgusted with the way life has kind of been for you. Um, disgusted with your reality and you're not happy with it. You want it to change. And I think eventually change will bring itself to your door. So for me, a girl at work was like, when does your lease end? March. Oh my God, no way. Well, we were trying to get this house. There's a third girl. The third girl fell through. We're freaking out. We love this place. We want it. Please save us. Okay. Now that's a change that I wasn't planning on. Didn't even have any clue that this was even going to be a thing in my life. And I'm kind of hesitant to certain things, like new things. Sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant about and I thought I was all done with living with roommates and, you know, I'm living by myself and fuck everybody else. But this is the precipice of change that I needed for myself. And I think entering this, entering this right here, entering that is going to end up taking me on a much longer, greater journey than just allowing things to stay the same ever could have. So precipice of change. Feel very encouraged whenever you do feel frustration, anger, disgust, standstill, stagnancy, boredom, broken record. If any of that sounds like you, I think this precipice of change is on its way into your life. Truly, I feel that way. Um, and clearing your space to bring it more full, I guess, full circle, because that's what that Patreon video is kind of about a little bit. Um, but in a more practical way of me planning it out, but getting rid of your shit, getting rid of, getting rid of your old memories, things that trigger memories because memories take up space. They do. Um, so if you're always going to have that picture, that letter, that birthday card, like whatever it is, a piece of clothing, a, um, a toy, like, I don't know, whatever it is. Like, if you've got that shit laying around, or even if it's, like, in direct viewer access or anything like that, that memory is always going to be triggered. So getting rid of that, clear, clear, clearing the space, it will make a lot more room for good things to enter your life. And, um, that sounds silly. Good things are going to enter your life when you clear your space, but it's like a new evolution of you can show up and emerge once you take that effort to clear that space and you're kind of encouraging change. So I think that's going to be it y'all for this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this style of video using this tablet thingy imaging. It's literally probably like five bucks. Like, I don't even know. I'll probably look it up and see at some point, but, um, if you can't afford an iPad, get one of these. It's fun just to doodle on and erase. So, um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I just said, but let me know if you guys enjoy this style and want to see more because I really like doing this and I had fun doing it. Just kind of like a journal -y, chit chat, whatever you want to call it. Um, or we could do more like planning videos or making lists or whatever. So, all right, that's it. Love y'all. And I will talk to you, 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 in my next video. Goodbye, guys.